All right, guys, I don't really do product reviews, but today what I'm going to do is discuss the Electro Harmonics Crayon. Now, I recently picked this pedal up at Sam Ash, and I had heard about it a little bit. When I initially went in, I didn't see the pedal. I was looking for this or Soul Food, and neither one was at the store, and I went back in, and they had the Electro Harmonics Crayon. Now, this pedal is under 70 bucks, and it's a pretty cheap pedal, and I just used it for the first time on a gig of mine over the past weekend, and I was really happy with the sounds that I was getting from it. So what I'd like to do is just give you some ideas of the sounds that I get out of the pedal. Now, let me preface this. I don't really do gear reviews. I don't do any of this, so I know it's not going to be the same type of video that you may be used to seeing. It's coming from my perspective of using it. It's me picking up the guitar, playing through the pedal, going through the range of the instrument to give you some sort of an idea of what you may expect if you put this into your pedal board. So I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get started. What I'd like to do is just demonstrate the sounds, let you hear uh, the context of it being played more from a jazz musician's perspective. So yeah, I dig rock, I play rock, but a lot of times these pedals will be demonstrated in a rock context. And for me, I use them on my gigs. And yes, in the jazz world, we do use distortion and overdrive pedals as well. It's not always just a clean sound with flat wound strings and a hollow body guitar. So you're gonna hear the pedal being uh, played uh, you know, with my uh, Les Paul Gothic, this is a, about a 2000, uh, this is, yeah, 2000, I believe, is when this came out. So this guitar is about 20 years old. I have uh, a DiMarzio Tone Zone back here in the bridge. The neck has a DiMarzio uh, PAF Pro. And I am running this through uh, the Crayon into an MXR Carbon Copy. And then in through my Hendrickson Jazz Amp, it's a 112. Uh, that amp I'd gotten, I think it's around a 2012, 2011-12 model. So it's not one of the newest ones. But uh, the uh, parametric EQ on the amp is set at about 12. On the uh, Electro Harmonics Crayon, the settings, I have treble and bass both at 12 o'clock. The gain is at 12 and the volume is at nine. And what I'm gonna do is start with my bridge pickup, and I have the volume, um, the tone roll back just a little bit. And once again, I'm just gonna play it. I'm a player that does a lot of improvisation, so I'm just gonna play out through the range of the instrument so you can hear what it sounds like, and then uh, switch around between uh, the neck pickup, the bridge pickup, and the in-between. So here we go. Now what I'm going to do is put it in the middle. It's still going to distort the sound, of course, that's what it does. But the chords can still be audible to a point I would probably use more 
uh, basic, you know, just two note voicings. I'm not going to use a lot of full on chords, although I could. Um, but. The thing also I like about it is that it doesn't feel like I'm really fighting against the pedal a whole lot. Uh, I, I think that it retains a certain sense of clarity in the lower register of the instrument. You know, some of the pedals that I've used, uh, it, it kind of falls apart in the lower range of the instrument. So overall, I think it, it maintains a pretty good sense of clarity throughout the range of the guitar. Now what I'm going to do is adjust, and I'm going to make some bigger leaps here because this is the way that I use the pedal. I'm going to go ahead and up the gain all the way, 100%. All right, so now I have the gain at 100%. I kept the settings the same as far as the bass and treble. And now I'm gonna go back to using my uh, bridge pickup. to the middle position. to the neck. to do now is I'm going to go kind of some extremes here with the response of the bass and the treble. So right now I have the uh, gain set 100%. The bass is all the way up. The treble is right in the middle at 12. So let's see how that fares in all the settings. <laughs> Now, middle position. test here except I'm going to have the bass all the way rolled off. Uh, the gain is still 100%. The um, treble is set at 12. <laughs> so it's definitely a thinner sound. Of course I'm taking out the bass in. And I have the bridge pickup on so it's definitely losing a lot of that thump. Let's go in the middle. And 
finally the neck. So for this one, I have the bass at 12 o'clock. The gain is all the way up again to uh, 10. And the treble is gonna be rolled all the way off. And I'm gonna go back into a bridge pickup here. Now I'm going to go into the middle position. Now I'm going to go into the neck. So for this one, I have the bass at 12 o'clock, the gain is all the way up to 10, and the treble is now all the way to 10. So this should be a little brighter sound than before, and this is the bridge. Next, I'm going to go to both pickups, so the middle position. I'm going to go to the neck pickup. So I hope that you at least get a perspective on what this pedal can do. Now, once again, I'm not endorsed by Electro Harmonics, but this is a pedal that I would recommend. Uh, brand new, it prices under 70 bucks. So at least give it a shot, you know, if anything, just to try it in your pedal board. Usually I put an RC Boost in front of all my pedals and I usually keep it running nonstop even uh, without any sort of overdrive, just because I believe that for me, it, it beefs up the tone just a little bit. And sometimes I like to have a little bit of a dirty sound in uh, my signal. Although you could also have that with the Electro Harmonics uh, Crayon. You could get that same thing. But for me, RC boosts, and then I have my overdrive. 
So at least pick it up. If you already have the pedal, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about it. If you have another overdrive that you prefer, leave your comment as well. And I'll see you next time.